America's fourth largest postal distribution center right here in Denver remains open in open defiance of a public health order. The city wants it closed after five coronavirus cases there and some stonewalling by the Postal Service. A shutdown of the place that handles all the mail for Colorado and Wyoming would be hugely disruptive. Today, Democratic Congresswoman Diana DeGette of Denver told the Postal Service essentially, play by the rules or shut it down. Marshall Zellinger broke this story, which now has the attention of Congress. And Marshall, all the city wanted was for the Postal Service to pick up the phone. That was the stance of the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment. Basically, give us someone to talk to. And in the absence of that, we're going to issue this closure order. That distribution center has had five confirmed COVID-19 cases. And one of those cases, the person passed away. Uh, the employees were tested back in April and in May. So the city met with Postal Service representatives today, and a spokesman for the Postal Service told me USPS has provided 67 pages of documentation, copies of procedures, and pictures. Colorado Congressman Diana DeGette sent this letter to the Postmaster General in Washington, D.C. today. It says, quote, I remain deeply concerned that remaining open over the objections of public health officials may have both short-term and long-term negative effects for USPS frontline workers and recipients of USPS services. I just talked on the phone with the Congresswoman about what she thinks if, if this should be a reason to shut that place down. I was really disturbed when I saw the story last night that the Postal Service wasn't even talking to Denver Health. So apparently after they got my letter today, they, they in, in initiated discussions. I mean, I don't think we should have to sacrifice the health of our postal workers to make sure people get their mail. Should a federal facility be above a local health order? Not when you're talking about the health of the workers. But when I press Congresswoman to get if she will take a stance that the distribution center should shut down uh, because of this closure order, she said she hadn't had a chance to read through all the documentation from the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment, and she just wanted that communication line to open up, which apparently it has now, Kyle. Marshall, do you get the sense that there is a difference of opinion about what's safe or that it's just a territorial issue? I, I'm in a unique position because I've received a lot of emails in the last 24 hours with information that I can't confirm for any way. So I have a, a few things running through my head. Uh, but from an official standpoint, I think it's we've got federal guidelines. We, we have to get this facility, the stuff inside of it, out of it. There's really no backup plan, perhaps, to close it down. So maybe if we just put up the stop sign, it goes away. Marshall Zellinger, both intelligent and diplomatic, saw that on display there. <laughs> Hey, buddy, have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. You too.